Welcome back everyone. In today's video I'm going to show you how to make a collapsible cutting table for sheet goods. As you know, if you've watched my channel for a while, I made some collapsible sawhorses last summer and they've come in really handy in the shop. They are perfect for setting up temporary work tables uh, indoors or outdoors, so I've been using them quite a lot. The one thing I don't have is a really reliable station for cutting sheet goods. Now, I've seen a lot of different setups for cutting tables. I've seen wall units that come down from the ceiling. I've seen wall units that slide out from a compartment. I've seen a few different versions of the collapsible table that I'm about to build, but this one I've decided I'm going to build entirely out of two by four. All you really need to build this are two folding sawhorses and three eight foot two by fours. So what I've got here in my hand is a test cut for the half lap joints that I'm going to use for the collapsible frame because I am going to be using this with my circular saw and when I cut sheet goods some of the blade will pass through the frame. The standard cutting depth on any job will be the thickness of your material plus about an eighth of an inch. So there will only be about an eighth of an inch kerf going through this at different places on the frame. So basically I've done a test cut to make sure that I've got the depth set properly on my miter saw which is where I'm going to be doing all of the cuts today and it's just going to lock together like that and sit nice and neat so that the entire frame is flush on the top and it's going to be easy to assemble and easy to take apart. A couple of quick updates first from last week's video. I improved my dust collection cart a little bit by adding the elbows that came with the Dust Deputy Deluxe Kit. I used them at the top and the bottom where the vacuum will connect to the cyclone. I managed to shorten the hose so that it now sits on the inside of the cart and it's well out of the way and I'm even happier with it now than I was last week. Small change but a big improvement. I'm just doing one end at a time, but I've got the end pieces, I've got the end pieces in, and what I'm going to do is I've got this piece of quarter inch trim made of fur. It's going to I'm just going to slide it under here. So effectively what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some clamping shoes for the frame so that these can swing out and what I'll be able to do is throw a clamp on here at the bottom and keep everything in place. And that will just keep the frame from shifting when I've got things on top of it. I don't want the whole frame sliding off the sawhorses, so this quick clamp kind of scenario is the best way to do it. I know I'm going to get a comment on this, so I'll just say it right now. I've got enough clearance between the top of the clamp and the top of the frame 
so that I'm not gonna nick my clamps when I'm sawing material. I'm pretty stringent about keeping my saw blade to only an eighth of an inch over the depth of the material so that that will be the most saw blade that's going to pass through here. I have at least a half an inch clearance between the top of the frame and the top of the clamp. Everything's nice and stable. Now the saw horse has become part of the frame. It's not going to fall apart. They can handle just about anything. Nice and solid. It's very, very simple. So really, that's it. Just these two two by fours. These are two five foot two by fours. I've got four three foot two by fours. That's it. So really, these don't take up much space in my workshop. That and the sawhorses fold away really nice. I just store them back here with my lumber and they're out of the way and they don't uh, cause any trouble. Uh, now I made mine five feet, you can make yours longer of course, and if you need a wider frame, obviously you can make it wider, you can make it four feet if you like. For me it's plenty big to use to break down a four by eight foot sheet of plywood quite easily. The shoes on the bottom of the five foot two by fours worked out really well. Um, I'm quite happy with that, it's just a piece of trim material that I've attached here with one single screw and a washer on the top. I've seen other designs where they built a special set of sawhorses just for the cutting table. That didn't make much sense to me. I wanted to use the folding sawhorses that I already had. So this made it very adaptable. The other thing is I can lay down a sheet of plywood or a scrap piece of melamine and I have an instant workbench if I need a supplementary work surface. Super solid and super easy to do all kinds of different clamping configurations with this. If you want to donate to this channel, I would very much appreciate it. Head on over to my donation page right over here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. There are a couple more videos on this side you can watch. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.